Welcome YouTube, welcome Twitch, and welcome listeners on Spotify. Um, this is kind of fucked up because this is the second time I'm doing this. Apparently my audio, we was having some technical difficulties. So I'm doing the intro today because I got some exciting news to tell you guys. Um, like I said before, uh, my last podcast, I've been in sports. I, I played football for 13 years, wrestled for four uh, I played baseball until I was in ninth grade, and then I switched to track and field. And I actually went to states in track and field for long jump, 4 by one 4 by 2 my senior year. Um, so I kind of want to jump into some local sports when I can. Um, and like I said, you can kind of call this sports. Um, I don't know if there's going to be some technical difficulties. i just seen Alex lag on the screen, so hopefully my audio is going to work. Uh, we're not going to do another section here. We're just going to go with it. So hopefully everything pans out. Uh, but I want to shout out the Hulk Myers on Instagram. Uh, I grew up with this kid. Uh, he grew up with me. I mean, we literally ran bikes together. We did all, we did kid shit. I mean, he played football for 13 years. He actually went to college um, for football. So I want to shout him out. Um, he's a power lifter now. Um, he got, he goes to these, uh, powerlifting meets and stuff. And recently he just went to one that was called, uh, let me just, the Reach Rumble. Um, and he did very well, very well. He, uh, let's see here. The post from powerlifting series, it says here, Zach, the Hulk Myers lifting the first U.S. ABS belt at the Rumble. Uh, the Hulk left it all on the table at the Rumble with the belt coming down to the last pool against Sir Dave. Um, the inaugural rub Rumble did not disappoint and will go down as one of the best head-to-head -head meets on American soil. So I want to give him a round of applause. Um, Bubba, you did awesome. So fucking proud of you, dude. Uh, I try to keep up as much as I can. Um, so here are some stats he did. Uh, this guy's a this guy's an absolute animal. He's he's an incredible. He's he's a fucking beast. I like excuse my language, but he's a fucking beast. Okay, um, he squatted for eight hundred eighty one pounds, bench for six hundred and seventeen, and deadlifted eight hundred and seventy or eight hundred and thirty seven. He said those aren't my best numbers, but what I hit for the meat for what he hit for this meat, it was two thousand three hundred and thirty five total at two hundred ninety five pounds. That dude is awesome, man. Um, I watched, like I said, I watched him grow. I'm so glad he's doing some good things. I know he's he mentioned something about he wants to go against. I think Dave was his name. He wants. I don't know much about powerlifting, so don't hold all this against me. Um, I just I love Bubba, man. He's awesome. He's been to he been to my wedding and shit. He actually, fun fact. Let's do a story time for a second. It is a podcast, so let's have some fun with it. Uh, if most of you guys don't know that I might have been, I was married before Alex here and, uh, Bubba was at my first wedding. Uh, this guy's so big, okay, like burly big that he actually ripped his tux the first wedding. It was the funniest thing. Like everyone was like, Bubba, Bubba flex, Bubba flex. So he flexes and all you hear is, and the, he split the whole back of his tux his face gets all beat red, and he kind of looks over at me and was like, Hey, uh, you got insurance on these? <laughs> I said, dude, don't worry about it. There's insurance. I said, it was the funniest shit ever, though. Um, but, yeah, we got some good memories together. Um, so I'm so fucking proud of Bubba. I know he wants to go to Ireland. He already been to Germany for a meet. Um, that was fucking awesome. I wish I could have seen that live. Um, and then I guess he wants to go to Ireland at some point, but I hope he does awesome. So super proud of him again, local, got a shout out to local people. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give him a shout out. So let's get the NFL started, Alex. Okay. Do I still sound like a robot? Uh, it's, it was kind of bad there. It was tolerable, but it was still kind the of bad. The whole time it was bad, or just part? Uh, maybe 50-50. <laughs> it was tolerable, though. Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll try to get this fixed for the next podcast. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that either. 
Okay. Um... We're not necessarily gonna go through every game that happened last week. Um... Just some notable ones. But... Some notables, yeah, um... So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through all the games. Hold on, week one NFL schedule. And I just want Chris to, uh... If there's nothing real notable to say about it, just say skip, we'll skip over it. But if there's something you want to say, like... Maybe what went right, what went what went wrong in the game. Maybe blah, blah, you know. Blah, blah. Well, we're gonna hold out blah, on the blah, Steelers blah. and Falcons and the Bears and Titans. We're gonna hold out on those two games. I'll talk about those. Those are two games that I actually want to talk about. So. Okay. How about the Ravens Chiefs? Not too much notable on that. Besides, I I was wrong. Um, Alex needs to keep tabs on who I was wrong about because. Yeah, I, was... I I don't know. I don't know where my list went that said who you picked. Uh, I already know who I picked. I picked Baltimore to win this. They lost. Um, I just thought Baltimore should have came out a lot better than they did. Um, they didn't do. They. They didn't do what I thought. Um, I thought you know. Their offense would have done so much better, um, but they just kind of they came out kind of flat in my opinion. Um, I don't think they have an ounce of revenge in their body. They do, but the problem was, again, the same thing that happened in the playoff. They got, they kind of stopped the run. Their scoring drive was with Derrick Henry. Give him the fucking ball, man. He's a running back. That's what he does. He's a running back. They could have utilized Derrick Henry in such a way that it made Lamar so much more open. Feed Derrick the ball. Get three, four yards a game. Eventually, they're going to just want Derek, so then you can pull the ball, run an option, you know, then you got Lamar maybe hitting a 10, 12-yard run, and then give it to Henry, you know, they could have just utilized him so much better, but again, Baltimore. And keep track of where your toes are. Yeah, keep track of where your toes are. The downfall with that game was they did not run, again. They have a damn good running game, but they don't run the ball. So... That's fair. That's all. Uh, Packers Eagles, which I actually think I got that one wrong, and you got that one right. You did. I think I I called the Eagles win. I actually said twenty seven ten because I thought both defenses would have done a lot better, but it wasn't like a, a crazy high score game. I mean, yeah, thirty four twenty nine. Sure. Um, the only thing notable about that was Jordan Love getting hurt. Um, that's going to be a huge impact for the Packers. That is well, and and I do I do have that on our injury injury list here. Um, how about the Saints? Um, I, I guess. Hold on. De- let me oh. let me let me stay on the Philadelphia because I forgot. Well, I almost forgot. Uh, fucking Barkley did incredible. Uh, Chacon, I can't say his name, first name, dude. Barkley from the Giants, three touch or yeah, three touchdowns. That guy, guy's insane, dude. Yeah, he that did, was impressive. Did, I forgot about that. He did fucking or two touchdowns at least. Sorry. Um. Shaquan, that's how you say it, Barkley. Shaquan, yeah, Shaquan Barkley. 100 yards, two touchdowns, longest was a 34-yarder. Like, that. that's impressive. And, again, running game. The running game is what's going to win this season, in my opinion. A lot of defenses are getting too fast, so they're not bulky in the middle. So, if you just start pounding that middle, it's going to be it's gonna be a bloodbath. And, I mean, the Eagles showed it. That was a good game. It was a really good game. Oh, how about the the Saints absolutely demolishing the Panthers? Because that was not a close game by any means. It was a blowout. I thought it was going to be closer. Uh, yeah. I thought it was going to be closer. I did say Saints was going to win it. Um, the only reason I thought it was going to be closer is because I thought, you know, Carolina got all these weapons that they fucking signed over the offseason. Well, let's just throw that game out the window. Um, Vikings versus Giants. No surprise there. I got that one right. Um, Daniel Jones needs to go. First off, I don't know why he got rid of Tyrod Taylor. I thought he was a better quarterback than Daniel Jones. Uh, but you got Lord Far- Farquaad as a fucking quarterback. He's not doing anything. I get get rid of him. I, I, none of your Giants fans like. Okay, see so now this is where I get into sports now. None of your fucking Giants fans like 
Daniel Jones. None of them. I know you don't listen to the fans. I understand that. He sucks. You should have kept Barkley. You should have fucking kept Barkley, put Tyrod in there. You could have had a dual threat quarterback and a hell of a running back. Just saying. Instead of instead of paying for an offensive line, you pay for a fucking quarterback that can't even throw past his fucking feet. He sucks. And I will stand by that. He sucks. Hell, I don't even think a quarterback coach will help. That's just my opinion. That's all I gotta say about the Giants game. I knew I knew Minnesota was gonna win. I I could see Giants not winning a game this season. If they keep him a going a uh, uh... A defeated, se- a completely defeated season. They suck. Absolutely suck. Um, Pats versus Bengals. That one I got wrong. I thought Cincinnati should have won. I mean, I gra- agree. I th- I thought. Granted that I'm not saying New England looked bad. They looked really good for once. Uh, new head coach, uh, new quarterback. I thought they looked incredible. Um, but Joe Burrow, like, where where were you? Multi million dollar quarterback, and you don't he show was, up. He he was trying to finish the story. Damn it! Like, I just get, I guess, I don't know. One hundred sixty four yards. I think he could have done better. Honestly, he could have done a lot better. But Jamar Chase got six targets for sixty two yards, six receptions. I understand okay. they didn't have I understand they didn't have T Higgins, but my problem with that is you're you're paying Joe Burrow as an elite quarterback. An elite quarterback. Okay. Yeah. When we categorize in the sports world, if you categorize a quarterback as elite, he can throw to a fucking toddler. Okay? Look at Tom Brady, look at Peyton Manning. You categorize Yeah. You you put them in the elite division. They make a, a no name wide receiver a name. That's what they do. They make a no name a name. Plain and simple. And Joe Burrow just didn't deliver. Okay. Okay, so you said skip over the Steelers Falcons game. Yeah. What was the other game you wanted me to, to wait till the end? Bears. I thought that's what you said. Let me write that down. Okay. Uh Texans versus Colts. That was a close game. So I would say yes. I- I'm gonna say it's a close game, but it was still an ass kicking. Houston put put on a fucking ass kicking. They're they're a physical team. Yes, it was twenty nine twenty seven. I understand everyone's gonna sit there and say, Well, it was a close game. Yeah, it was. It was a close game. It happens. The defense just seemed like they got a little tired towards the end. It's gonna happen. It's week one. But Yeah. They gave up some big plays. Usually Houston's not a they don't give up them kind of plays. They did. You're going to have that once in a while. Anthony Richardson looked absolutely incredible as a fucking... He slipped and still threw a 60-yard bomb. That guy is incredible for the Colts. But again, I'm sticking to it. Watching Houston play. And them guys can play. Um, seeing them, it's going to be Houston and Kansas City. If everyone stays healthy, hold my word. They're going to be in the AFC Conference, and I see Houston winning. I see Houston still going to the Super Bowl after watching them. If I would have had Houston versus Kansas City, dude, they're running over Kansas City's defense. I know Kansas City's defense was great. Don't get me wrong, but you got C.J. Stroud back there. It's a yeah. It's kind of like another Lamar Jackson kind of thing. So you see how close it is with Kansas City going against Baltimore. It's going to be the same thing with Houston. Just okay. give, give give CJ a little more, you know, games under his belt. That dude's going to fucking fry. He's going to fry. Hey, uh, Cardinals and Bills. That was a lot closer than I expected. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I agree. But then again, I forgot about Matt Milano being injured, so that kind of hurts Buffalo's defense. Kyler Murray's just, he, he was good that round. He was good that day. Some some days he's not good. Some days he's like I don't know. Jesus has his A game. <laughs> um, although it's a lot closer than it should have been, there was a very very bad call in the first quarter or first half. I don't know if it was the first quarter. I was watching that game on Red Zone, um, where 
It was a late hit on the quarterback, but it really wasn't. Guy didn't even touch him. They said it was a late hit. Kyler Murray, uh, slot, uh, when they slide, Alex, if you don't understand, when a quarterback slides feet first, the play's dead. You're not supposed to hit him. He's giving his okay. body up. Now, if they dive head first, it's, it's one thing. That's not giving okay. your body up. But if they slide feet first, you're not supposed to touch him. This guy jumps over him. He goes in to hit him, but he slides, and he kind of... So he jumps, okay. So he still missed him. He didn't even touch him, and they called a flag. They scored a touchdown on that drive, and they should never have scored a touchdown. It would have been fourth down. They probably would have kicked a field goal, and they wouldn't have had 28 points. Yeah. So that that was a bullshit call, in my opinion, but, you know, it's football. It's going to happen. Suck it up and go to the next round. Yep. Uh, Dolphins-Jaguars. I can't say that word. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh fuck, that that game started off with a bang with Tyreek getting. I hope them. I hope them police officers get prosecuted. Oh my god, I forgot all about that. Um, that game was really good. I figured it was going to be a close game. I didn't know it was going to come down to the wire. I thought it was just going to be a close game, but Miami held out and won that game some fucking how. And again, I called that one correctly. Um, yeah. In fact, uh, everybody, I actually was, I bet a $5, so we're going to do this every every week. I bet $5 on all Sunday games, and I was only two games off for $1,800. Five bucks to eighteen hundred. That would have been great. I had that profit boost, but you know, some teams just kind of fuck you. Yeah, they do. They're good for that. Steelers um, and Bengals. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Broncos and Seahawks. I don't got much to say about that one. Besides, I figured Seattle I was going to win. Um, Geno Smith looked all right. Again, I'm not a big Geno Smith fan. Um, he did. Do well, though. I mean, 171 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Bo Nix, however, for Broncos. A little rough, bud. But he's a rookie. He's a rookie. Give him some time. Right, right. But it's a, that was a little rough. Uh, Raiders Chargers. Um, J.K. Dobbins. That's all I got to say about that. J.K. Dobbins. Um, so, Alex, I know you don't know, but he came off... Uh, Pretty sure an ACL tear. Oh, okay. Um, so for him carrying ten times, one hundred thirty-five yards, one touchdown. Guy's an absolute animal. Uh, yeah, I'd say I agree. Um, I'm glad that he's doing good. Um, so he's he's had a rough he's had a rough year. Um, let me just double check here. Um. The injury history. Here we go. Uh, I just want to double check. I'm pretty sure he tore his ACL. Okay, yeah. Achilles. September 10th, 10th oh. of last year, actually. Oh, Dobbins so tore just, his Achilles okay. in week one versus the Texans. He had a mid September surgery. Pedal Achilles tear grade three. And a year before that, or two years before that, in the twenty-one, he he had a hamstring tear, and the same day had a knee L C L tear. So, yeah, he's had a he's had a rough year, and yeah, he did he did tear his ACL in twenty-one. So he he had a lot of injuries. So for him to do what he did, fucking kudos, man. I knew he I knew he tore his ACL at one point. I just didn't know when. So, yeah. Yeah, coming back off of literally a whole constructed leg. Like literally yeah. an entire constructed leg. And running for a hundred and thirty five yards. Yeah. Um, Herbie looked alright. Again, he's he's got a damn good head coach and he's gonna I know Harbaugh is going to work with him, so I see that team. I could potentially see that team 
knocking Kansas City out of the playoffs, if I'm being honest. That'd be all right. I'd be okay with that. Um, Cowboys versus Browns. Listen, this is the this is the game that the Cowboys think that now they're going to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen, I've always I'm always going to pick against Cowboys. I do not like the Cowboys. I will say that I am biased. I do not like the Cowboys. So don't ever ask me if I like the Cowboys. I do not like the Cowboys. Hey, Chris, do you like the Cowboys? No, I don't like the Cowboys. The ba- um, er, the Bears, the Browns could have won that game if they had a fucking quarterback. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, dude, Watson sucks, dude. Watson. What happened to what happened to Flocka or whatever his name Flocko. was? Flocko. <laughs> whatever his fucking name is. What happened um, to him? He was just on a one-year contract because Watson got hurt. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, I don't like... I think he sucks, dude. I just... I gonna say he did all right with... with... I'm not saying Winston's going to do much better, but... Um... Okay. Uh... The Bucks versus the Commanders. Yeah, uh, it's Mayfield season. Okay, okay. I mean, that guy is just. Uh, I know I, sh- I shouldn't be talking about all the fucking games, but I'm going to. Rookie quarterback for fucking Washington looked incredible. Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, Jalen Jalen Daniels. Man, did he look good. I was very impressed with him. Um. All right, now let's talk about the only game that I think went into overtime, the Lions versus the Rams. I knew the Lions were going to win. I had faith in them the whole entire yeah. game. Um, but when it comes down to it, again, I said it in, about the uh, Baltimore game. I said it about the Eagles game. When it comes down to it, smash fucking mouth football. When the Lions got the ball in overtime, it's the first one who can score a touchdown. If you have the ball first, if you score a touchdown, it's over. If you kick a field goal, the other team gets a chance. Just saying. You look over at fucking Dan Campbell's suit, and that motherfucker had a smile on his face. You might as well just Yo, fucking take yeah. your head. You just take your headset off and start heading to the fucking locker room because this game's over. Yeah. He had that smile, and all it was was pound the fucking football down your fucking throat, dude. It was like six or seven runs, and it was, it was game over. Yeah. Montgomery put the fucking smack down to you. Gibbs got you on the outside. Montgomery got you on the inside. Easy fucking six points in your fucking life because the defense is tired. Again, you're in overtime against the Lions, and you see Dan Campbell's suit fucking smile. Yes, just, just, just hang it home. up. Just go home. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> um, Jets and the 49ers. Let's go, Niners. Again, I'm going to reiterate, I am a Niners fan. I thought they were going to lose because it's prime time. They don't do good at prime time. Okay, just saying. I love my Niners, but, dude, it seems like every well, time we get to watch them, we're East Coast, so we don't get to watch them. So every time we get to watch them, it's like dog shit. But they fucking put the smokes, Mr. Jordan Mason, man. And I kind of want to talk about this game for just a second, not too long, just a second. Uh... I think they need to put Christian McCaffrey on IR for four weeks. Listen, I don't disagree it's about with that. the long term. Dude's got an Achilles. Like, his Achilles is, uh, look it up for me. It's something with his Achilles. Uh, he's, he's having some trouble there, so just, just rest him. It's about winning the Super Bowl, okay? Mason's going to have a little bit of a workload, I understand, but at least put... McCaffrey on IR for at least four weeks. Let him heal up. Achilles think, tendonitis. I was just getting ready to say tendonitis. Achilles tendonitis. So let him just just heal, man. Don't rush anything. I understand that McCaffrey's a football player. He wants to go, go, go. He wants to get it, go. I mean, he's an he's an animal. Yeah. But think about the team. Think about the long term and go for that fucking ring. That's it. That's all you got to do. Let your other superstars on the team play the game. Brandon Ayuk, catch the fucking ball. I got so tired of seeing people saying, oh, I should have been, oh, everyone said I shouldn't have been an easy catch. When Peyton Manning, Bill Belichick, Eli Manning, all, both commentators on Monday Night Football, sit there and say that should have been an easy catch for a wide receiver, dude, you're getting $30 million to catch that ball. Okay? 
And when people were like, I didn't think that was such an easy catch. Listen, dude. Peyton Manning said it correctly. Sign the fucking contract and get to training camp. Training camp's where you win the games. Yeah. So what I'm telling you right now, Alex, is I'm going to tell you very simple. You're now an NFL wide receiver. I'm going to pay you $30 million a year. You're going to go out there. You're going to go to training camp, and you're going to learn how to dive and catch the ball. So guess what? When I throw you the ball, I know how to game, catch it. You're going to catch that ball nine chances out of ten. I was always taught 13 years of my life, if the ball hits your hand, if it even hits your fingertip, it's a catchable ball. That's Yeah, that makes sense. If your hand you hits the ball, it's to... catchable. Plain and simple. And I, I live and die by that because it's true. When I was a defensive back, they taught you, okay, if I'm guarding somebody, you don't hold. So, like, let's say there's a guy right here, and I'm running with him. He's in front of me, and I'm behind him. You don't hold this hand up. You hold this hand up because it reaches higher. Makes sense. It's closer to the ball. Your highest point's on the way far on the wayside. So all I'm saying is it hit his hands. He should have caught it. Um, that's fair, yeah. Um two things I think you asked me to write down uh, during this during this game that you wanted to talk about. We'll talk about those before we move on to the Steelers and the Bears games. Uh Mason running a hundred yard rush. Oh, so he ran a hundred yard not a hundred yard rush. He had a hundred yards rushing. So the last oh, time okay. that Mason actually had a hundred yards in a game was in high school. High and I'm school, so, yeah. I'm so fucking happy for him. I think he came from Georgia Tech. He didn't even have a hundred yards in a game in Georgia Tech in college. So for him to get a hundred yards here, yeah, it's been the most rush, rushing attempts in Niner history. So good I mean, for he, him. He had a workload, and he, he and then through. and then he also had me write down about Aaron Rodgers calling plays. Hmm. Depressed Aaron Rodgers. He was really mad. I think um, I think the Jets looked good. A lot of people. They didn't look away. bad. A lot of people gonna say, "Oh well, Aaron Rodgers sucked, dude." He played three plays last year. First down, second yeah. down, third down. That's all we did. That's not gonna stop me from making fun of him, but. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like everyone's like bashing him already, and it's like, dude, you literally played three plays. So, going against a Super Bowl caliber team who literally yeah. just came from the Super Bowl last yeah. year, I think you did all right, Aaron. The only thing that I took away from Aaron Rodgers was I don't think he was very happy on some of them play calls. Third down, give Aaron the ball. Stop handing it off. There's a couple third down runs that Aaron, I don't think Aaron was happy about. Yeah. Let Aaron, he's an MVP caliber quarterback. He's yes. already been an yeah. MVP caliber quarterback. Let him do his thing. He's coming to a new team because of the defense. Packers didn't have a defense when he was there. So he came over because of the defense. Okay. Let Aaron make some decisions. I understand yeah. you have an offensive coordinator, but you literally have an offensive coordinator on the field. This guy can read the defense better than pe some people can read a book. So yeah. let him run the offense. Give him a chance. I feel like that connection is going to come in later in the season. I feel like they're going to trust Aaron more. Aaron's just going to start making his own calls, and it's going to work. So I, I don't know. I just feel like give him a little bit more freedom. That's fair. Uh, <sighs> Yum. Okay, um, you wanted to talk about the Steelers-Falcons game. Yeah, so the reason I want to talk about them, fuck the Steelers, they were supposed to lose. They cost me, they were one of the teams that cost me $1,800. Um, so I said this last year. Um, I don't know why they, I don't know why the Falcons signed Kirk Cousins. All that money. I understand signing, signing him. I understand that. Well, that's a lot of money. You gave him a lot of money to not show up week one. Um, dude's coming off of an Achilles or ACL tear. I get those two mixed up, so excuse me. But the fact that he did not do not he cost him three turnovers, two interceptions, and a fumble. That guy did nothing. 
Right. Absolutely nothing. So he went 16 of 26, 155 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. You suck, dude. You suck. Yeah. Um, and you got all these fucking weapons. You got Ray Ray McLeod, Bijan Robinson, Pitts, Mooney, London, all to throw to, and you just suck. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I don't know. I said it well, last year. They shouldn't have signed him. Uh, I know the Steelers didn't score a touchdown. Okay, it was all field goals. But what happened with my bet was I bet the Steelers were going to lose when before. when I knew, yeah, Rus- before, Russell before I knew Russell Wilson was going to sit out. So as soon as he sat out, I changed my pick. So I did change my pick when Justin Fields, so I did get this game correctly. I said Steelers are going to win if Fields is the quarterback. So I did get that correct, but I already placed my bet. So I got my bet yeah. wrong, but that's okay. I mean, it's going to happen. And the only reason I said the Fields is going to win and Russell was going to lose is because Atlanta has the best secondary, in my opinion, in the league. Their secondary is fucking insane. Let me just shout them out here for a second. Um, the people understand. So, like, you got uh, AJ Terrell. I think he's an amazing dude. You got uh, let's see, where's he at? Jesse Bates the third. That guy is one of the best safeties in the league. So, in order for Fields to get down the field, he had to go against some of these top tier cornerbacks and safeties that can read very well. So. I felt like he's more he's more explosive than Russell Wilson, so that's why they won the game. If it was up to Russell Wilson, he's gonna take like five minutes to get down the field. Justin Field is fast, dude. He's he's when he makes a decision to run, he runs. There is no decision. Yeah. He's not gonna like not half ass he run. He's, he's not, gonna run. He's not he's not gonna hesitate about it. He's gonna yeah, say no. He's, I'm not, gonna, he's not gonna get to the line of scrimmage and oh I'm gonna throw. No, he's he's gonna run. And when he he's runs, gonna stay committed to his decision, yeah. Yeah. And that's what I like about him so much. He's damn good at what he does, so. Um, He's like Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Yes, yes. Yep. Um, and then the Bears, uh, Bears-Titans game, right? Yeah. I did that, uh, off, uh, I did that off of memory. <laughs> oh, boy. First off, I agree with what the coach said about the Titans. If we would have just punted it on first down, we would have won that game. The Bears suck. I thought, yeah, you know, I I had them winning, but I didn't have them winning like that. Caleb yeah. Williams' debut was a disaster, and I understand he's going to be all happy. They came away with a win. It is a win. But was it really a win? But you praise your teammates, but take accountability. They had a hundred and forty nine yards on offense. That's shit. I think it was 149. Let me let me just quickly double check here. So he threw it for 93 yards. That's it. Your number one pick and you throw. Dude, that's that's sad. Like <laughs> um, That's incredibly sad. Um yeah, 148 yards. That was your total. 11 first downs. You're not winning. I'm sorry. If you're if you're going against a team that's not the Titans, unless it's the Commanders, you're not winning that game. Yeah. On the AFC side, anyway. Or, yeah. NFC side. Uh, so, yeah, only throwing for 93 yards. You kind of sucked. The only reason the Bears won that game was Will Levis should have never thrown that ball. If Will Levis doesn't throw that ball, they're probably not winning that game. Um, because you couldn't march down the field. So if Will Levis just would have took the sack instead of tossing it like a fucking teenage girl. Yeah. There would have been no pick six. I understand special teams is going to make plays. Like the block, punt, touchdown. That's going to happen. That's going to happen almost every week. So that wasn't the problem. It was Will Levis throwing the ball. Just take the sack. Punt it away. You're... They're not moving down the field, man. Like, 
As a quarterback, you got to understand, oh, well, my defense has been holding these guys out. 148 yards? They had – Bears did nothing. Yeah. On offense. You got 60 minutes and you got 148 yards? You better – back to the fucking drawing board, dude. You should have kept yeah. Justin Fields. I understand you came away with the win, but so did Justin. And Justin yeah, actually huh? went against the defense. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I just... That game was pathetic on, on the Bears' part. All them weapons. You got DeAndre Swift, Kenneen Allen, fucking DJ Moore, and you're... 48 yards. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> embarrassed. Get it? <laughs> embarrassed. Oh, my God. Um, all right, well, if that's all you wanted to talk about as far as that goes. Have I sounded like a fucking robot? No. Okay, it must have been our internet. Your voice sounds beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, and Melinda, if you watch this one, thank you. That's my boss. Shout out to my boss. <laughs> my YouTube can get a little weird. That's just who I am. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go probably week two now. We're gonna talk about week two. Uh, we're gonna talk about injuries first. Oh, injuries. Okay. So I try to do injuries. I, I try to do injuries first, just so. That's totally fine. Um. So obviously Christian McCaffrey. Now, when I just looked up to see exactly what was wrong, like what his injury was, it said three hours ago that they were talking about how his injury is not long term. I know. That's to sit him. Sit him for four so, weeks, dude. Like, just put him on IR, said, it, it, bring in it, another it running said, back. It said he was itching to come back, which obviously, of course, he's going to be itching to come back. I wouldn't blame the man. But uh, I didn't really read anything, but I just happened to see that as I was looking up his injury. Um, I only have, other than McCaffrey, I only have four injuries to that really, I guess, stood out to me. One of them's not really, I just noticed the name. Uh, the first injury was Kyle Van Noy. Questionable. He has a, a fractured orbital bone in his eye from that hit he took. Who's this guy? I don't know actually who he is. Can you kind of explain who he is? It says Van Noy fractured his orbital bone in Thursday's 27-20 loss to the Chiefs. He's on the Ra He's a linebacker for the Ravens. That sucks because there goes their defense some more if he was in there. And they sure never got rid of Patrick Queen, although Patrick Queen didn't do too much in the, the Steelers game. But give him give him some time. Yeah. Um, and then I have uh Jordan Love. Yeah, that's gonna be that's a big one. Um, so we're actually thinking that's... about going to that game uh November twenty fourth up there in Lambeau against the Niners. He w should be back by then. But he should be up four to six weeks with that. That's it's gonna it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt them and they're not active they're not actively looking for a, a quarterback so I don't know maybe they just uh, got you trust know, in their backups I mean that could be it's um, damn good though I mean I it's not he's not out for the season if they was out for the season they they'd be done well it says he's still questionable so for the season. Yeah, it just says questionable. Well, from what I've been told, he's out for four to six weeks. Okay, that, that could have been updated since I looked last, of course. Um, Josh Downs says he wasn't participating in practice, but he was doing individual movement drills to the side. So he was working his, his ankle, that's what it was. Yeah, that's, that's bad on an ankle. It doesn't matter who you are, linebacker, lineman, yeah. running back. That's, yeah. Ugh, ankle injury is horrible. <clears throat> uh, um, yeah, go ahead. I was thinking, Paul. Oh. The, only, the only other person I have on this injury list, that, and it's only, the only reason I have it is because I recognize the name, was TJ Hawkinson. Says that they're targeting a um, a return from the pup list for him after their bye week. I wonder how. 
I wonder what their schedule is. It says October 6th is when he's due to come back. If... If he's good to come back. Well, I mean... You said TJ Hawkinson, right? Yeah, it's Hawkinson, yeah. Okay, I was just making sure we on the same page. I was looking up. If I can pull it up. Jesus Christ. These are for the fight Vikings. Yes. So they play uh, they play us next. I know that. So they got San Francisco, Houston, both at home, it looks like. And then at Green Bay. You said out for four weeks? That's October sixth is when He can come back. So he can come yeah, back to th the that's... Jets game. Literally the Jets game. Yeah. That's what that's their target. It says that's their target return date for him. Okay. So I mean could could be that day, could be after. So, so I mean, it, it's kind of with him being out. That's kind of, I mean, that's obviously good for San Francisco. That's one less guy we have to worry about. But I mean, it's right. gonna be tough against Houston. I think it's gonna be tough for them against San Francisco. Green Bay is gonna be a toss up. It Again, could be. Well, they're not. Green Bay ain't gonna have Jordan Love back yet. I mean, true. So. Okay. Um Man, that that's a that's kind of a big I mean, I don't know. He's good. I mean that's their tight end, so I rec I recognize the name. That's the only reason I like I said, when I look at the injury list, I look at I look for anybody that I recognize the name of. So All right. again, you gotta think of the Vikings. So the Vikings just got rid of Kirk Cousins. So is it was T J Hawkinson good because of Kirk Cousins, you know, so. Right, yeah. That That's that's what you gotta look at. Uh, I, Sam Darnold did good, though. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not knocking Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold did wonderful in the Vikings game last week, but is he, like, he's not Kirk, so. Right, right. I don't even think Kirk is Kirk anymore. He has his days. <laughs> But yeah, that's, okay, that's um, a big one. That is, that is a big one. Yeah, like I said, it says October 6th is the target return. So, I guess if they can hold out till then and do all right, or at least at least enough for, for them to feel satisfied, maybe it won't be. All right, are we moving on to week two now? Yeah. Hey, uh. All right, for anybody that's new, this is a little game we play. I wrote down, I have in front of me the list of all the games for week two. I have on another piece of paper here who I, well, who I think Chris is going to pick. Some of these I picked by my heart because I wasn't sure. Tough. Let me grab a drink. Yeah, I know. It, it was hard for me, too. So, anyways, um, while he's getting a drink, I can, I can say all this. So, I go through each game with him. He's got... Real quickly to just tell me who he thinks gonna win. I mark off the ones that I get wrong, and then we talk. We pr pretty well just talk about the ones that maybe I. I we need to figure out wrong. who won last week. Cause I got. Well, I like to tell you, but I, like I said, I don't know where my thing went that has. Well, do you remember I who can, you picked? I. Uh, I can tell you because I bet on it. Okay. You will you pull that up. We'll go through we'll go through these games here. I got them up okay. on my screen too. All right. I'm only So we're do So we're doing week 2. We're still doing week 2 and then we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to start off Bills Dolphins. That's a Thursday night game. I'm going with the Bills. Dolphins. Ooh, Ethan picked Dolphins. You, I picked you pick the Bills. The, you picked the Bills, okay? Uh Niners and Vikings. How many times I tell you I don't pick my team? I know, I know. I'd be dumb not to. I know. I can't. Um, coach. the Patriots versus the Seahawks. Oh, see, that's a tough one. That's one that I had to like. I was really and me, like. Me uh... and Trevor actually talked about this. Trevor's my buddy from work who loves sports too. I'm. I, he. He kind of agreed with me. And he disagreed. I'm gonna have to go to the Patriots, honestly. They're at home. Okay. They're at home. I just 
Maybe they maybe they ride that streak that they won. I mean, last year their season kind of sucked. So this year they're like, right. you know, they're riding high, man. They're riding high. Let's fucking, they're getting the dub. Okay. They're getting the dub. Uh, um, okay, Giants, Commanders. Not the Giants. They're you said not this. the Giants? Yeah, I'm saying Commanders are winning that. And it's in okay. Landover, so. Okay. Uh, Chargers, Panthers. I'm actually going the Chargers. I feel like. Okay. With Harbaugh, they're and again the Panthers. I don't want to say Panthers are shitty. They just maybe had a bad start. Bryce Young right. needs to step it up, but I, I just feel like Chargers are just that team right now. Okay. Uh, Saints Cowboys. I already know the answer. You Spe- don't. Have speaking to. of the Chargers game, though, tickets are twenty five dollars. Everybody, go buy some. Uh you said the the Cowboys and the who? Cowboys and the Saints. The Saints come marching home. Fuck them Cowboys. Cowboys. Fuck them Cowboys. Uh, Colts, Packers. Colts. Okay. I'm definitely taking Colts on that. They their offense looked in fucking credible. So yeah. Okay. Colts all the way winning that. Uh, okay. Uh, Browns versus Jaguars. Man, see that's a tough game right there, and it's in Florida. <laughs> I'm going to have to go Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence is going to smoke them. Okay. Miles Garrett ain't got shit on Trevor Lawrence. Okay. Uh, Jets, Titans. Jets. Okay. Titans look good, though. I'm not saying Titans can't okay. win. I'm just going with the Jets because it's Aaron fucking Rodgers, baby. He's coming back. Okay. Okay. Uh, the bu- yards. Bucks versus Lions. Lions. Okay. I wouldn't be uh, surprised if Mayfield does some fucking magical shit, but it's at home. They're playing. They're playing Detroit at home. Detroit's got the home field advantage. Their crowd's fucking insane. Lines all the way. Raiders, Ravens. Ravens. Okay. Raiders. Rams put cart the, put together yet. Rams Cardinals. Uh, uh, yeah. So that's a divisional game. That's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a fucking. I think that's gonna be a Smash Mouth. Kill each other game. Uh, it's in Arizona. I feel like the Rams are coming away with that one. I feel like okay, the Rams are going to stop Kyler Murray. And, well, the Rams are going to do what Rams does. Now, we didn't talk about his injury, though. Puka, Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua? He's, uh, I think he's out. He's on IR right now. So, that actually could affect... Fuck. That's fair. That. I mean, I'm not going to change my pick. I mean, Stafford's going to light him up, I think. But he's only got one good wide receiver now. So, let me just say okay. this. I wouldn't be surprised if Cardinals win. Because I, I did forget about Puka Kanua. Kanukua. Nuka. Nuka Kua. Okay. Um, Bengals Chiefs. I had to. I had to really like. It's in there. This is. Oh fuck, dude. Oh man. I. I'm going Chiefs. Okay. I fucking hate them, but I'm going Chiefs. Um, Steelers, Broncos. Steelers. Uh, I'm pretty sure Justin Fields starting. I told you. Okay. I'm Justin. I don't like the Steelers. I do not like the Steelers. I like Justin Fields. So now I'm like a little fifty-fifty. I like Justin Fields. I hate the Steelers. So Justin Fields starts. They're getting the win. And you're gonna see how he can throw now. He's not going against a good secondary. He's going. Uh, he's going against a decent secondary, but not the Falcons secondary. Um, Bears Texans. Texans. Texans and are then, gonna show him why he he's gonna show them why the Texans are gonna show why Caleb Williams should not have been first round. Uh, and then Falcons Eagles. And hold on. The reason I said he's going against a decent secondary is because Pat Certain. Sorry, I just wanted to throw that out there for the Broncos. Uh, Falcons and Eagles. See, now this is a Monday night game. And this is where me and Trevor disagreed. 
I'm going oh, prime time Kirk Cousins, motherfucker, because he's Mr. Prime Time. He's going to light up Monday night. He's going to show the Eagles why the Falcons will kill an Eagle. So we did we did really well. I, I, I picked very well three of them. Three of them are the only ones that I got. So who did you pick? I had the I had the Browns winning. Who were they going against? Oh, the Jaguars. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. That was that was one that I like. I I stared at it for a second, and I was like, I don't know. And then I said, I'll just pick with, I'll just pick with my heart. And then I actually had the Bengals winning against the Chiefs. I think it's going to be some dumb team that upsets the Chiefs. Well, and see, I it's not a like dumb the- team though, because <laughs> the only the only team that the only one that Burrow Burrow is. Mahomes is kryptonite, but I just don't think. Oh, I, I and that's I, I agree with they're you. They're right because I... listen, Jamar Chase still has not signed his contract, dude. Sign your fucking contract. He just got right. offered a lot of money. Sign the contract. That's affecting. Look, locker room. Uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, like social locker room. Uh. Morale. Banter? Morale. No. Oh. Locker room morale is a huge thing. Like, that is a thing. I, I, I don't want to hear nobody tell me that a locker room does not affect how you play on the field. It does. If you're a Debbie Downer or an arrogant asshole in the locker room, it carries out yeah. to the field with everybody. Everybody. All right? Get your fucking contract signed and play some football. Play some fucking football. Uh, Reddick hasn't signed his contract yet, and I, I'm just getting sick of these guys. This guy's getting fined 800000 a game. Get that 800000 to me, motherfucker. If, you're getting, if you don't care about 800000 you're getting paid too much, in my opinion. Dude, that's just ignorant. That's just fucking ignorant. Dude's not playing. He's getting fined out of his check $800,000. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Sorry. I just can't stand that stuff. That's fair. Just again, like Kirk Cousins. Show the fuck up, dude. I'm paying you millions. Buku fucking bucks. And you're going to give me two interceptions and a fumble. I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. And then uh, you're going to kill me. I had the Eagles winning. I don't know why I had the Eagles winning. Listen, but... listen. I'm only going off primetime Kirk. I could, I should have picked the Eagles. I should have. But I'm going off primetime Kirk. He shows That's up okay. with his gold chain and his fucking, his dogs. Come out with his dogs. Okay. And on I'm paper, gonna... this motherfucking team should be making it to the Super Bowl. On paper, this team is the fastest NFC team. It's the, it's the most... He's got the most weapons. Dude, dude's loaded with weapons. I'm going to just start naming people off here, and you're not going to understand. But I'm just going to start naming people here. You ready? You got motherfucking Bijan Robinson. Dude's an animal. You got Drake London. Ray Ray McLeod, who actually came from uh, San Francisco. You got Darnell Mooney. Okay, right there is three wide receivers. London, McLeod, Mooney. Mooney is fucking quick, dude. What's that saying from Longest Yard? He makes fast people look not so fast. Yeah, that's fucking Darnell Mooney, man. He's fucking quick. And then you got one of the best tight ends in the league. Not only do you have one of the best tight ends, you got a damn good backup. You got Kyle Pitts as your starter, and you got Warner, Charlie Warner. He's a damn good, uh, like just random fucking tight end that I just can catch the ball. Like I, I just don't understand. And again, you got the best secondary almost in the league. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd say best, but you got fucking uh, Grady Jarrett at defensive end. That guy is a scary motherfucker, dude. He's he's a damn good ty- uh, defensive end, and he's he's got the C on. He's a captain for a reason. That dude's a beast. So right, you you you're not only got good defense, but you got a great offense, so they should be making, on paper, they should be making, oh, not to mention an all-pro fucking kicker. Uh, I, I'm gonna butcher his name like a motherfucker, but that Young Hoku, like, that dude can, he's, he's a kick. He's a kicker. Oh, um, sorry. I just get all heated, because this team should be the best. 
I do have my picks from last week up here. Okay. Um, I, I don't have the Chief Ravens game on here because I think I put this bet in after that game. That's all right. But I had the, I had the Chiefs winning that game. I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, I had the Ravens, so. Yeah, that was one of the ones that. You had the Packers. I had the Eagles. Uh, yeah, Packers. Yep. And then I had the Bengals. I had the and Bengals, they... too. Uh, I had the Bills. I had the Bills. Texans. I had the Texans. I had the Falcons. I had the Fal. Uh, I had the Falcons until I knew this is the pick Russell I Wilson changed. Russell Wilson was out. So there, you, you're, you're two now. I got one. Go ahead. Uh, the I had the Jaguars instead of the Dolphins. I had the Jaguars. No, I had the Dolphins. Uh, so there, yeah, you're down three now. I know it was four that that were flip flopped or something. I had the Bears winning. Yeah, I had the Bears. I had the Saints winning. I had the Saints. I had the Vikings. I had the Vikings, obviously. I had the Broncos winning the Seahawk game. Yeah, see, yeah, you're four now. I had Seahawks winning. I had the Chargers. I had the Chargers. The Browns. I always pick, well, you know, fuck the Cowboys. Uh, there might be one more, because I had the Commanders winning, and you were talking about Baker Mayfield, so. Yeah, so I won, I won week one. You ain't coming back. Yeah. I'm 1-0, oh, baby. That- you're 0-1. Oh, I'm 1-0. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> so make sure you write down my list this week. I, this week, uh, well, I, down. I, I had... I wrote my list down. I wrote a check mark if we if we chose the same team or not. Is how I did it. All right. Well, you remember that because I'm one to know. You're zero and one. I beat you in week one. Shut up. Down. Okay. All right. I think we're time to move on to our Beyond the Bell segment, wouldn't you say? Uh, I guess. Um. Next week, since the audio wasn't working and I was little discombobulated uh spotify just remember i go live on twitch on wednesday youtube is uploaded on friday um i didn't get a chance to do it so maybe after the segment we'll just edit this part in alex um i'm gonna go to DraftKings. hopefully it'll log into my account and i'm going to bet on all the sunday games except for my team I'm going to bet five bucks. That's it. So you guys are going to see the choices that I picked. And that's it. I'm going to bet five bucks. Except for my team. Um, I'm not doing Thursday night games. I'm not doing Monday night games. I'm just going to do all Sunday games. That way it's a little easier on me. And there's less picks. Because I don't want to fucking lose my bet on a Thursday. You know. That kind of fucking sucks. Then I don't want to get everything right on a Sunday. And then lose on Monday. I'd rather just know... The day of. So, we're just going to do the Sunday games. Um, But I told you my pick for Thursday night game. The Thursday night game was who again? Uh, Bills, Dolphins. I have the Bills winning. And then I told you my pick for Monday night, primetime Kirk, Falcons. Yeah. That's going to be next week. Um, And if everything goes right, it'll be in the end of this video. I'm not going to do it live on Twitch because I got to log in and all that shit. I'm not doing that. But it will be on YouTube if I can get everything working. So check that out. Again, YouTube is Murdoch Gaming. Um, Twitch is twitch.tv slash Murdoch Gamer. Now, let's go to Beyond the Bell. Um, we are here been... with our expert, yes. I was just about that. to say that. I was expert. just about to say that. Quote, unquote, expert. So this section is probably going to be short because there's really not much to talk about. There's not much to talk about this week. We don't. Have, we didn't have a pay per view. So. But however, we do have uh, we do have Monday Night Raw matches coming up. There's like there was actually quite a bit of Raw matches coming up. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll definitely. Um, um, you guys are going to be mad at me, Spotify and everybody. I kind of fell asleep during the Raw. Me too. Listen, it's called Overtime Podcast for a reason. We're working double time here. I fell asleep. That's all right. 
I might fall asleep now. <laughs> um, so we'll go back to SmackDown. Uh, first match of the night was Bailey versus uh, Tiffy Time. Tiffy Time. I missed that match. Oh, Bailey damn. defeated Stratton. Yeah, well, who? I mean, obviously, like, come on. I saw the tail end of it. Yeah, Evan did too. If you didn't hear him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured Bailey was gonna win. They can't do Bailey wrong all the time. I mean, she's been. It was a fun match, though. I mean, I think I don't know. I like Tiffy Time. Like I like Tif Tiffany Stratton, but she's a little too. Fake. I know what you're trying to say. Like, I don't know. Um. Wait, see how much yeah. makeup she puts on? God damn. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I don't know. She tried like, a little I, too hard. I follow her on a uh, TikTok because I came across it one time. Like, oh, there's Tiffany Stratton, and yeah, because yeah, I, because when me and Megan first watched when she first started, we were like. Man, she's 24. She already has work done or something. But then I was like, saw her on TikTok. Like, oh, she just does a lot of makeup. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, before we jump into all the matches of SmackDown, um, congratulations to SmackDown. That was the last time it was on Fox. Um, and it's switching to USA. It was kind of like a nice goodbye they did. So, um, I'm excited for them to come to USA because now it's a three hour show instead of a two. I think they can do a lot better with a three-hour show. Yeah, well, uh, news. I heard, and I, it's just a rumor. I, I haven't really done much research. I heard Raw's now going back down to two hours. So that's going to suck. But see, they got lost. Until stars, until it goes to Netflix. The, the, the oh, so that's only like a half was, a year, really. It's literally yeah, only Yeah, yeah, they're year. not. It, it was only supposed to be, at least the rumor I heard, it was only supposed to be until... Raw went to Netflix, and then it was going to go back to three hours. But I don't know how true that is. I, I don't know if it's true. I don't... I didn't read the comments or anything to, like, get any clarification, so... And, and that, that's all right. I, 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 can, I can get down with that. Because when it comes to Netflix, and it's going to be, like, not child-friendly, so... <laughs> yeah, well, we'll take, we'll take the bad with the good. Um, second match of the night on SmackDown was Giovanni Vinci versus Apollo Crews. Dude, that shit was kind of funny, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the whack of match, you mean? Yeah, like you blink, you miss it, dude. That shit was so funny, dude. I don't give a fuck. I thought that was hilarious. Comes out there, all flashy and shit, taking his jacket off. Oh, I don't want to get it dirty, and then gets pinned. The fucking ref is like, hey, hey, yeah, fucking ring the bell, dude. Like, let's get this match on the way. Like that. I'm that ref. That's me as a referee right there. Like, I ain't got time for this bullshit. Let's get the match going. I'm gonna go home. Drink some beer. That shit yeah. was fucking hilarious. Um, Kevin Owens, Grayson Waller, and Austin Theory in a triple threat. So, Kevin Owens won that. I kind of figured it was going to happen. And they kind of turned into a 2v1 handicap match, which you don't see those very often anymore. Yeah. Um, I like that match. I did too. Uh... The only thing I kind of disagreed with was them beating him up after the, I mean. Well, I, I... I get why. I understand why, but it's like, dude. Kevin Owens should have just beat their ass where they couldn't move. You know, like, she's just fucking... I don't know. Something's gonna happen between all that. I say Austin and Grayson's gonna turn on each other at some point. Oh, yeah, 100%. Uh, Chelsea Green versus Mishan. And every time I see her name, it's different. It's Mishan in one line, and then it's Mia Yin in another. Like, Listen, I'm a big Chelsea Green fan. She's a fucking idiot. Okay? She's a <laughs> fucking idiot, and oh I love her to God. death, dude. I like fangirl every time I see her. <laughs> like, yeah, so I, I like her even more because I love Piper Niven. The fact... So, this is so funny why I, I like, fell in love with Piper Niven is because the day I found out where she's from, Alex, 
We were in the town she was from. I know, I know. Glasgow. It so it was like, I fell in love with her instantly. I was like, wait a minute. Hyper Nivens from Glasgow? And then it dawned on me, because again, we did a lot of traveling that day. We were in Glasgow. We was in I our actually, Airbnb. Funny, funny story about that, though. I always forget we went to Glasgow. Like, I think about all the places we went, and I always skip right over Glasgow, and I'm like, where did missed in a place and, and it's it, always and it's Glasgow. awesome though mm -hmm. because there was two coincidences that day this is story time two coincidences mm -hmm. that day one i found out because we started watching raw and everything else we found out that piper niven was from glasgow and then we found out we was watching a fucking movie that was filmed oh, in glasgow yeah. and i was like wait a minute what the hell is going what on here you? like wait, wait a minute <laughs> Like, he was saying, oh, it came up on the screen. Glasgow. I was like, what? We were like, uh... I can't remember the fucking movie, but it was actually pretty good. It was it had Gerard Butler in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what the fuck it was. But what it, had, was it, it one, one of my favorite. What, I love him. Was it one of the Fallen movies? Like, London Has Fallen or... or Something like that. I, I, well, I thought it was one of those. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. Um... Bloodline versus uh, DIY and Street Profits. Well, we knew who was one of that one. I mean, that's that's not yeah. news. I mean, it's just, yeah, the Bloodline being dominant as always. Yeah. Um, we also forgot. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how it went because again, I kind of fell asleep on both shows. Um, I'm pretty sure L.A. Knight came out at one point. He did. He did on uh, he did uh, Andrade. Yeah. Yeah, he had two back-to-back -back BFTs on Camilo and Andrade. Again, I figured something was going to happen with Carmelo and Andrade. So there, there's where it comes down to. They're, one of them's probably going for the title. And I'm not... Again, I kind of fell asleep, so sorry about that. I also... I definitely fell asleep on Raw. Like, I ain't gonna fucking lie. I was whooped, dude. I was whooped. Is that good or bad? I thought that was good. Um, that was pretty well it for SmackDown. Uh, so then Monday Night Raw here two nights ago. First match was Wyatt Six versus American Maid in their little street fight they had. And I like how, I love how on WWE here, it doesn't say the white six defeats American made. It says the white six conquer. Oh, well. <laughs> they fucking annihilated them, dude. Like, yeah, was like dude, was I, like, uh, I love uh, Nikki Cross's fucking sister, Abigail. Or the witch. I yeah. Guess. Like, I love that because she's she fits that role so perfect. They right. all really do. Like they all really do. But like Nikki Cross was already crazy from the start. Yeah, she was funny crazy. Cause she just didn't stare. Just fucking love. Um. Dude. Okay, here we go. Second match: Bel Air and Jade Cargrill versus the Unholy Union. So I was mad that they they beat them. Cause again, I'm an Unholy Union fucking. I really. Didn't give a shit. I didn't the, either. I kind of skipped that the, match. The, the oh, talent, I... the talent is there in the women's division, and they just choose not to do anything with them. Yeah, they're like, oh, let's have let's have Bianca and Jay just fight the same two groups every because single show. I understand show. why they want them to be a tag team because they're fucking scary women. Again, I'm pretty sure Jay Cargill can jerk you off in one stroke. But, like, again, this is a podcast. This is our podcast. I just want to say some funny shit and out of the fucking, like, random stuff. I'm pretty sure she could because, I mean, look at her, dude. She's got, dude, she's fucking jacked up. But I don't like them as a tag team. Again, if you're going to be a tag team champion, come out. Don't have separate interests. I, I can't, I can't get behind I just can't get behind the separate intros. You're not a tag team. You're just... You're a solo tag team, in my opinion. They're going to turn on each other. I can see it coming. I can see that coming. Yeah, I can see it coming, too. And I won't Because be they're two of the biggest... Happened. They're two of the strongest, I should say. And one of them's going to showboat. Something's going to happen. I guarantee something's going to happen. 
Mm-hmm. It might come down yeah. to Royal Rumble where they they finally flip on each other. Seriously. Yeah, it could, it could see take. see that happening. Um, the next one was not a match, but I think it's worth talking about was the Bret Hart uh, segment. <laughs> Bret Hart. <laughs> Bret Hart. He came out and was like, holy shit, he's old as time now. And he punched him. That's what him. Chris said. He fucking punched him, dude. I love that shit. That shit was hilarious. Did you know that, Alex? No. He punches CM Punk. Did he really? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I thought that was God. fucking hilarious. No, oh, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, he, uh... Red Hart punches CM Punk. Down he goes. That's kind of fucking funny. Well, I don't know if he punched him on the latest episode, but I think he was wanting to, I should say. Sorry. I should reiterate that. He would I th- he was wanting to punch him. Fair, that's fair. Um third match was Miss Mysterio with Judgment Day oh. with uh versus Dragon Lee with LWO. I'm too, fucking, I'm too fucked up for this. He wanted to punch Gunter. I don't know why I, I said was- CM Punk. I was wondering why you said CM Punk, and I'm like, did I miss something? I was something? reading something yeah. else down below here. I was looking at the Drew McIntyre shit. But yeah, he was, I think he was wanting to, like, just, I don't know, he called, he pretty well called fucking Gunter out. Because he won't face yeah. Sami Zayn. So. Um, yeah, then it was Judgment Day versus LWO. Well, Dominic Mysterio versus Dragon Lee with their factions out there with them. Yeah, we all knew who's going to win that one. Yeah. Um, fourth match, which this one was okay. This one was an okay women's women's match. Yeah, because Natalia's from there, so I, I it yeah. looks called that They're, shit. Yeah, we're st- we're sitting there, Ethan. And we're we're sort of watching it, and they're like, "Oh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery uh, tag team partner." And I said, "It's Natalia." And sure enough, like three seconds later, her music hits, and Chris yeah. goes, "How the fuck did you know that?" I said, "Cause she's from Canada." Yeah, <laughs> but you say she's there. from that part of Canada. So that's what I was like. I understand she's from Canada. I knew she was from Canada, but you were like, well, you were saying how she was from well, that part. I, I, well, I don't know. So. She's in the Heart Foundation, so. Well, yeah, my, the context I took was that if Bret Hart was going to be there, so was Natalia. so... Yeah. Oh, my God. I looked up Bret Hart. He has, like... He has, like, ten siblings. Oh, I believe that. Like, Jesus. Of course, I didn't pay any attention to... Okay, Lyra Vecchio... Lyra, Zelina... Vecchio. So they did win. That's good. Yeah, didn't they put him in submission holds? Did they? I don't know if they tap though. Be a submission, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they all tap. Oh, and then this we're gonna mention this just because it was funny. Was Drew McIntyre yelling at Wade? That was fucking funny. Yeah, that I was kind of jumping ahead. I don't know why I said Bret Hart first fucking. Seem fun. I was down there reading that because I actually missed that part. So I was actually reading what happened. Um, I came out and I seen uh, when I woke up, I seen him saying, uh, "You're yelling at your friends and shit." I was like, "Huh?" What's yeah, we were we were like, "What the hell's going on?" Um, yeah, he was like going off on Wade. Wade was about to like jump on him. Oh, good. We need Bad News Barrett back. <laughs> But yeah, I, I really, I really did Barrett. feel like Bret Hart wanted to punch Gunther because he was just a. Well, coward. yeah. Oh my God, Megan brought up a good point when we were on that first match, not the backtrack or anything. Yeah. Well, what, what's the what's the tag team name that uh, the American what? American made. American made. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Megan was like. This would be the group that Jack Swagger would be in if he was still. Yes! Oh my god, yes! He, yes, Jack! I forgot all about Jack Swagger! Oh my god! He'd definitely be part of that group. Oh, yes! Except for, you know what's funny about American Made is everything breaks down. 
<laughs> yes. So yeah. it's going to happen. Who was Ethan? But not to not to get too distracted here. Who was the guy that was always with Jack Swagger? Had the mustache oh, and the Fisher hat. I don't remember his name, but what I, was his I, goddamn I name? Mustache. I can't remember. And do you remember Alberto? Yeah, Ricardo Rodriguez. I freaking miss him too. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, did, did you know Alberto came back in, like, 2018, and then he got arrested? Yes, I, I remember that. Yeah. I do remember that. Domestic abuse? I thought that was funny. Yes, I remember that. Um. Oh, but that's CM Punk and Drew McIntyre shit. Like, really? It's another old. Match. Yeah. Really? Hello. Is that, what is it? They're doing a Hell in a Cell match? Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Yes, yes. October 5th, Atlanta, Georgia, Bad Blood, CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Hell in a Cell. Yep. Maybe that'll find. I, I say this every time. Maybe that'll finally put an end to it. It's gonna, that's going to be what that's hell man matters, hell. literally. It's going, man to, hell. it's going to end when some one of them dies. Like, literally. <laughs> Dutch Mantle, Alex. That's the guy's name. That was with Jack. What was his name? Dutch Mantel or Mantle, Mantel. However you say it. See, I, 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 I know that's right, but that doesn't sound right. Like, uh, I think he went by a different name. With he Jack. may have. I do not remember it. Oh my god! I can't believe that was like a repressed memory. Um. Fifth match of the night was Finn Balor versus Rey Mysterio, which that was kind of a sh not a strange match. I shouldn't say that was a strange match, but that's just kind of an eclectic little. No, nah, fucking. I was, doing, I was doing Adam was like the the Judgment Day's barred from ringside. I'm like, oh yeah, that's gonna stop him, all right. Yeah, like that's ever stopped him before. Um, sixth match. Jay Uso, Dragonov, Dunn, and Strowman in a number yeah. one contenders match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethan, we got Cadence to do the yeet. Know, yeah, we did. That shit was fucking awesome, dude. Evan, no. I was actually. I wasn't surprised that Jay Uso won. I was kind of hoping for Braun Strowman. Yeah, I was too. Sure. Especially, especially sure. because that dumbass came out and. Yeah, I fig I mean, I called that though last week. I said he's. Yeah, out. you did. I said he's coming out. It's gonna ruin mm -hmm. everything, and he did. I really do not like Bronson Reed, dude. Yeah. I kind of hope he falls through a car. Okay. Um, but yeah. With that being said, that means Jey Uso is going against fucking Braun Breaker, and now I'm like, Ooh. I love Braun Breaker when I love Jey Uso more. But I like Braun Breaker because he's rising star, so I'm like, I don't know. I don't okay, know my uh, theory is correct with the Jimmy Uso shit. It's gotta I'm, be Jay. I uh, know. I'm real excited for that. Um, I do have a singles title. I do have the SmackDown. At least the confirmed matches for this week that are happening. I do have those pulled up here. Uh. They're a steel cage match. Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sequoia for the champion. Sequoia. Championship. Sequoia. Sequoia. Shut Sick up. Solo Sycamore Tree. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Solo. 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 Yeah. <laughs> tree. <laughs> Fucking. I, I feel like Cody's winning that one, obviously. Yeah. He's just going to um, throw it in his face again, that's all. Andrade versus Carmella, which I assume is a contenders oh, match. My God. Yeah, because they're two and two now, so they're gonna fucking whoever wins oh, that's yeah, gonna I go against that. LA Knight. Okay, yeah, see, it does say series tied two two, so I okay. Whoever wins that's and, gonna go for LA Knight. And then I have A Town Down Under versus Kevin Owens and question mark question mark question mark. That must be a new wrestler. I've never heard of them. Oh my God. Well, let's see here. Who who do you think Kevin Owens is going to team with? 
I don't know. Maybe it'll be like. Maybe it's Randy too, Orton. It's back. too. Well, yeah, Randy Orton would be good. I'll just say it's too early for The Rock to come back. So, um, not that I think The Rock would have any business being in that match, anyways. But well, I'm gonna look here. I'm just looking at the SmackDown roster. I don't know. I mean, Randy Orton would be a good. Can you a good imagine guess. he teams with Logan Paul. <laughs> I mean, well, SmackDown does have Randy Orton on the on the SmackDown list. That's probably him again. Probably gonna reunite. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say. Yeah, you know what? I'm with you on that. I'm gonna say. I'm calling it now. I'm gonna say KO. Because the other people here, I have no idea. Unless it's a NXT person coming up, which could be possible. But I'm gonna have to. Oh, go that could be an, an X, yeah, an NXT. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm just looking at the roster. That's all. So. So the only match that we have so far that's been announced for Raw is. Uh, New Day challenging the Judgment Day for the Tag Team Champion. Yeah, it's gonna be Judgment Day, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling. Yeah, they're not giving up them titles yet. Not yet, anyway. I feel like so. This is so. This is kind of a theory I have. Maybe. Maybe Jey Uso loses because of some shit going down. I could see Jimmy coming back. I could honestly see Jimmy coming back. He's been off for a while now. And, yeah. You know, kind of fucking his matchup. Doesn't want him to win, but he tells him, hey, we got bigger and better things to do. We're going to go for the tag team titles again. No, not again. Yeah. As much as I want Jey Uso to win, I also like Braun Breaker. I just feel like Braun Breaker hasn't held the title long enough. I feel like... I don't know. Braun's a fucking beast. But we'll see. I mean... Yeah. We'll see. Maybe fucking Roman Reigns interferes with it. Who fucking knows at this point? Again, I would love I would love to see fucking Jey Uso hold the title though. But I I feel like Braun Breaker's gonna get it back or something's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, why is it so hot in here? Uh anything else on the list, Alex, for WWE? No. But All I just right. came across I did come across someone something for NFL though, just as a quick. Okay, well hold on, we're still on I, okay. I wanna talk to So I, I seen an article um the other day and I told Ethan I kinda wanna talk about this. Uh, I seen an article the other day about uh Omos and why he's not like Oh shit, I forgot about Omos all the time. Uh, I I see now whether this article was true or not it doesn't matter I could see this happening Triple H said that he didn't want Omos to become the me- next big show so he only wants oh, him here and there and I think that's okay. bullshit because Omos is more talented in my opinion I like Big Show I'm never gonna knock Big Show don't just hear me out on this though I feel like he's more talented only because he's faster he's bigger and he's more athletic. Big Show was just big. You know, he's not moving around right. as fast as Omos. Omos could sprint. Omos can jump. Omos can do a lot of shit. Dude was a basketball player. Yeah. He was a Nigerian basketball. This this guy can oh. move, man. Let yeah, him so... in the ring. Dude, let him do something else. You don't have yeah, to make him an extra you're show. Wasting, you're wasting this good talent. Really good talent, too. I mean, I like yeah. Omos. Who does not like Giants? I mean, besides Bronson yeah. Reed being a dickhead, I still like seeing him destroy the fuck. I mean, dude, you had Braun Strowman and Reed in the ring. I thought that shit was gonna collapse. I thought yeah, literally oh, yeah. the I thought it was gonna go clear through 
the whole stage. I thought it was going to go in the ground. I thought they were going to literally be a buried alive match on the ring. <laughs> that's how big these guys are. Like yeah, everybody wants yeah. to see that. When someone slams someone, you want to see that ring just fucking shit. Oh yeah, oh, dude, they're gonna Absolutely. break that shit. Because sometimes that happens. Hell yeah. Like, I remember watching one match. I can't remember who it was, but they threw them through the ring, and well, that was a weak spot in the ring, and it just so happened that they went through the ring, and it was a complete accident. But I mean, again, you got six hundred thousand people watching you, so you better uh, improvise. So yeah, that's like the that's like the Undertaker match in the Hell in a Cell. He wasn't supposed to fall through the cell, the top. Yeah, I mean that was improvised. That was real blood too. Like kudos to them guys. But like shit like that happens because they're big people. Undertaker was another big guy. Like. So shit like that's going to happen. Maybe that's why they don't want Homage, because Homage is one big motherfucker. Like, Braun Strowman's a big yeah, son he, of a bitch. I looked it up. He is 7'3 and 440 pounds. Yeah, he's one big son of a bitch. He's, he's a big son of a bitch. It, it, Braun Strowman isn't a big son of a bitch. Omos is a big son of a bitch. Like, who the yeah. hell would not want to watch Omos versus fucking Strowman? Dude, there, there's no like, there's not a soul that would not want to watch that match. They they wouldn't even have they wouldn't even have a ring. They would have to tear down the ring and put that shit on just fucking mats because they're they're breaking the fucking ring, dude. Yeah. They're they're gonna have to like reinforce that motherfucker, and um just. Just talking about WWE, I would like to see another like uh what are they? They're not called gauntlets. But like, okay, just hear me out. Uh, the Bloodline, or no, not yeah. the Bloodline. The Judgment Day, right? Nobody likes the Judgment Day, right? And I know the Terror Twins have enemies too, so they should put them in the ring where I can't remember what the match is called, but they have all them people around the ring that if the, you get out uh, of the ring, they uh, beat your a ass. A lumberjack match. Like they should have is that, that not against, a lumberjack match. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I think so. But you see what I'm saying? That would that would be a great match for the Bloodline. Or, God damn it, the Judgment Day. Because, again, Damian Priest, you know, he's making a... He's turning a new leaf. But he's still yeah. got enemies. He still has enemies. So, put Dominic Mysterio, Liv Morgan, put the Terror Twins in there, and just let them go. Yeah, Lumberjack match is a professional wrestling match where wrestlers surround the ring outside, known as Lumberjacks. If a wrestler is knocked out of the ring, the Lumberjacks beat them up and put them back in. Like, I think so, that's a great idea. Like, I think, I mean, I've always... for the Judgment Day, but there's a Lumberjack match in general for one of these rivals that's coming up. Like, I'm just, I think it'd be great. It'd be perfect, honestly. Just because it's kind of fun to watch, too. Fucking fall out of the ring, get your ass kicked. Because we all know Liv Morgan likes to run from Rhea, so you might as well just throw her into the fucking wolves. Yeah, yeah, Speaking yeah. Speaking of that, though, they did beat her up on, on the show. And then you came out to save them all. Yeet. Yeet. Um, Yeet. I did. I did Yeet. like the fact they had Damian Priest uh, covering Rhea Ripley up from getting battered by fucking Liv Morgan and then here comes yeah we didn't really talk about that but that did happen on the show so we like to I like to cover that just to and it's you know Livy Morgan gotta cover everything Liv <laughs> a little bias on that one but yeah anything you wanna add Ethan to be on the bell or you think that's good uh okay with me i'm good all righty well thank you uh thank you for joining and i guess alex has some i got two NFL. things i just i just have two things for nfl that i just found that that one of them's not so much funny but one of them's funny oh boy um 
First, the thing says, uh, oh, God. It said Brock Purdy has defeated both Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers in his career so far. Which is accomplishments. I don't that like saying quarterback wish. versus quarterback because the quarterback's got to go against the defense. It's not a one-on-one right, battle. Right, right. <laughs> but if it was a one-on-one battle, Brock Purdy's coming in third. No offense. I like Tom Brady's a fucking... He's coming in one and Aaron Rodgers is coming in second. Well, somebody commented. Oh, it said yeah. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers looking mad and upset every time a player dropped a ball or messed up last night. He's hilarious. The fuck did he think he was going to get? He literally signed with the Jets. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, but Garrett Wilson's really good, though. I mean, he... <laughs> again, when the ball hits your hands, you better catch it. That's why they the fucking Chiefs released... Uh... A fucking idiot. I'm play. just, I'm just gonna say this for anybody watching. If you're, if you have the ability to send me the Aaron Rodgers sad face memes, please send me Aaron Rodgers sad face memes. I'm getting a kick out of those. They're my favorite thing right now. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that is it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the show again. Uh, I want to reiterate, Murdoch Gaming on YouTube. That's Murdoch Gaming. You will see the logo here for Twitch and YouTube to see this. Um, YouTube is uploaded at 6 a.m. on Friday. In case you have YouTube and not Spotify, you can listen to it, listen to it in your car on uh, YouTube at 6 a.m. Friday. Uh, Twitch, we just go live just because I can. Um, Spotify, it'll be live on Spotify on 6 a.m. on Thursday. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, again, Spotify listeners, thank you guys for joining every Thursday. I know our channel is growing a little bit. This was whole new. Um, I think we're definitely getting better at it. Um, so, thank you guys for listening. And again, if you guys want to see this live, it's on Twitch. You want to see the video. Um, we're eventually going to have some stats and stuff up on the screen. I just went completely blurred. Um, yeah, you did. We're going to have stats and stuff up on the screen. So if you do want to watch the VOD, it will be on YouTube. So just want to read. Oh, my God. What the hell? Look at that. Ooh, can't see me. Um, just want to reiterate that. And um, another quick announcement. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What? what the duck was that? Uh, another quick little oh, announcement. The one you couldn't find on that game. <laughs> uh, fucking... <laughs> Me and Ethan might be starting up the Mondays with Murdochs again. Um, so that will be on Spotify too. I'll link that eventually. We got to just get some things set up for that. Mondays with Murdoch, but it might not be on a Monday. That's the fun part of Mondays with Murdoch. It might be just on a fucking Friday. It might be on a Saturday. It might be on a, the eighth day but of the week. We don't know our days of the week here. No one heard what I just said. Did you just say the eighth day of the week? Yeah, Is that not Monday? Could, yeah, it could be. It could be a Tuesday. It could be a fucking Wednesday. Whenever your fucking week starts. Um, we're thinking about it, though, just because we like the sports podcast. It's a great podcast, but... We all know that I can talk, and I can talk about just about anything. So why not make? We another, know. Why not start up my other podcast? Because I wanted it on YouTube or Spotify as well. But that's another news. Um, I don't have any other news. It's non-sports related, or even other sports, because I don't follow a lot of the other sports right now. It's I'm focused on it every thursday it's it's nfl season every thursday every sunday every monday i'm busy i'm i'm out for 18 weeks okay i'll, I'll be out i'm on injured reserve for 18 weeks until the playoffs and then i'm out for another like maybe five or six weeks until the super bowl is over um and i'm still out after that anyway because fuck it uh just leave me alone on sundays okay <laughs> if you're inviting me to your house I will come with open arms and a remote. I need to watch <laughs> football on Sunday. Plain and simple. Monday nights is taken. It's date night for the TV. What's TV? <laughs> What's television? What's football? I've never heard of it. 
I foosball. I play foosball. But, yep. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for watching. Stay steamy. We will see you next fucking week on a Wednesday. Oh, and uh, I do want to shout one more thing out, which is kind of news. I wanted to do this before the podcast started. Um, can I stop going blurry? Damn. Uh, I do want to do like a little moment of silence for 9 11 because today is the anniversary of September 11th. So, a moment of silence for a minute here. So, I do I do pray for all the families still because that is a tragedy, even though I got my opinions on this. That's for the other podcast, not this one. And I'm going to go mute. Look, that was a moment of silence. I can't do a moment of silence because I got to talk, motherfuckers, all right? But I pray for the families that uh, was lost in 9-11. Um, so now we'll end this podcast. We'll end the stream. Love you guys, and peace out. We'll see you next time. Hey, see me. All right, YouTube. So I did get it pulled up. Um, so this is how DraftKings work. Um, this is, wait, well, I just heard something. Did it go off? I didn't hear anything. I heard something. Is it still got the screens up? Yeah. That was weird. I heard a boo doo 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 or something like that. All right, let me restart. All right, YouTube. So uh, I did sign in, and everything should be pulled up. So again, I am not betting on the tomorrow game. That's the Thursday night game up there. And I will not be betting on the Atlanta Eagles game. But we will bet on all these ones except for the San Francisco game. So we're going to start. And by the way, September 15th is my birthday. So if I can win this bet, it'd be awesome. Um, I'm going to go with the picks that I had, which was Baltimore, the money line. Um, I have the Baltimore Ravens being the Ravens. Um, now, the problem with my bets is I never picked Dallas. But I am picking them in my money line bet. Sorry. Sorry. I do feel Cowboys is going to be, but I want the Saints to win. So you guys can sue me later. Um, San Francisco, I don't see why I'm betting on there. So I'm just going to skip that one. Um, I do have the Chargers winning. Again, I don't care what the payout is. I'm going by what I who I think is really going to win. Um, I do see the Colts winning this game. Um, Seahawks and Patriots. I actually have the Patriots winning, which is good because it's a plus. Um, so hopefully that'll that'll up my ante there. Um, Lions. I do have the Lions winning. I have the Jets winning, which is surprising. I'm surprised that's actually that. Uh, Giants and I have the Commanders winning. I have Jacksonville winning, and I have. Did I pick the? Yeah, I picked the Rams winning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my bet on the Rams. I am gonna, I'm gonna say the Rams are gonna win. Um. Then I have the Chiefs winning, and I have Pittsburgh winning. I also have the Houston Texans winning. So there, there's all my picks because uh, Atlanta is the next one, and that is the. Monday night game again. I'm just betting on all the Sunday games. So let's go through real quick again here. I have the Ravens beating the Raiders. Yes, I did pick the Cowboys, but again, I don't like the Cowboys. So I'm always going to pick against them. But when I'm dealing with money, I might have to go with them. The Saints are a good team. I just don't feel they're good enough against the defense. The Dallas, and you're playing in Texas. I just feel like their defense is just stronger. Um, not betting on my team. So we do got a 13-pick parlay. We have, let's just go through the parlay right here. We got Ravens, Cowboys, Chargers beating the Panthers, Colts beating the Packers, Patriots beating the Seahawks, which that could be my game that's going to fuck me. 
Um, Lions beating the Bucks. All these games could really fuck me, to be honest. Uh, Jets beating Tennessee. Washington beating the Giants, which that could be another game that fucks me. Uh, Jacksonville beating uh, the Brown Browns. Rams beating the Cardinals. Another one that could fuck me. Chiefs beating the Bengals. Another one that could fuck me. Steelers beating the Broncos and Texans beating the Bears. Let's see what it is. I got one bonus. I had a no sweat. I think I could use this. I think I could. Holy fuck, dude. No way. Damn. No way, dude. $5 in plate, dude. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. $2,000 on my birthday. Come on, guys. Let's make this happen. All right. Let's make this shit happen. All right. We got Ravens, Cowboys, Chargers, Colts, Patriots, Lions, Jets. Commanders, Jaguars, Rams, Chiefs, Steelers, Texans. Let's place this motherfucker. Let's get it. Bet is placed. Total payout two thousand six hundred, or yeah, two thousand and sixty-three and ninety-one cents. Let's fucking get this shit. All right, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you and peace out.